This explains how major scales are constructed. I'll assume you know the difference between a whole step and a half step. If you don't, click the link and see the video on that. All the major scales are constructed the same way. The difference between them is what note they start on. This one starts on E. It's an E major scale. The second note is F sharp. It's a whole step above the E. And the third note, G sharp, is a whole step above the one that precedes it. Between the third and fourth notes, moving from G sharp to A, that interval is a half step. It's always a half step between the third and fourth notes. Between the fourth and fifth notes, we have a whole step that brings us up to B. Another whole step brings us up to C sharp. There's a whole step up to D sharp. And the interval between D sharp and E is a half step. The placement of those half steps is really what makes a major scale sound like a major scale. That's why they all have the same construction. Between the third and fourth note, there's a half step. And between the seventh and eighth note, there's a half step. This is also a major scale. It's written in the bass clef, and it starts on the note D, but otherwise it's the same thing. Between the third note, which is F sharp, and the fourth note, G, that's a half step. Then again, between the seventh note, the C sharp, and the top note, a D, that's also a half step. Whole steps between everything else. Here it is starting on the note C. Another thing you notice that's the same about all these examples is that including the top, the octave at the top, there's eight notes when you write a major scale. You use all seven letter names, A through G, and then you have an octave of the first note if you want to complete the sound of the entire scale. And as always, between the third and fourth note, between E and F, that's a half step, and the seventh and eighth note, between B and C, that's also a half step. Everything else is a whole step. This is what it looks like in the key of B flat. And this is what it looks like in the key of D major. You can practice your music theory just by picking any note to start on and then going spelling out the scale with whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step.